Hi, we're Britt and Mike. We live in our self-converted 2021 Ford Transit camper van with our dog, Leah. In this vlog, we're taking you along for a weekend we spent on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington living in our van, where pretty much every single thing we tried to do went wrong for an entire weekend. The excitement just doesn't end, does it? <laughs> Never. Welcome back to the vlog. We are spending this weekend in Washington. We are driving around the Olympic Peninsula, and currently we are in Forks, Washington, home of Twilight. We're not big Twilight fans, and we had never seen the movie, but when we knew we were coming here, we decided to watch it. So um, we stopped at the Chamber of Commerce and checked out like Bella's truck and all that stuff. So we got our Twilight fix in out of our system. We're gonna spend the weekend um, driving around the peninsula, and this morning we went to the Ho Rainforest and did the uh, Hall of Mosses hike. It was a short, like one mile hike, just leaving from the visitor center, but that gave us a little look into the rainforest. It was a really nice hike. Now we are at a combination of grocery store, outfitters, sporting goods store, and hardware store. So we're gonna get some groceries because we are desperately in need of groceries. And then we're gonna see whatever Mike has planned for the rest of the day because Mike actually planned this weekend. I'm usually the planner, so it's going to be, it's exciting for me that he planned the weekend. What do you have in store for us? It's gonna be bad. No, Just don't say that. It's gonna be good. This is everything we got at the store. We go shopping, what, like once a week? Typically, yeah. Like once a week, and all of this will fit in our fridge, and then all of this goes up in our cabinets. So we actually have pretty good amount of fridge space. Look at that tail go, she's so excited. Ready? You ready to go? <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Thank you. It's misty. Is it raining? Uh, no, it's just the fog. So misty. Oh yeah, that's right. In case you were like wanting to skip rocks or something, this is like heaven. Really? All right, so you can see that we're here at the beach and uh, you might also be able to see that you actually have no visibility. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to see that we can't see anything. So uh, yeah, it's uh, not exactly the experience we had planned, <laughs> but uh, still nice. It's really cool here. I think it's only like 65 degrees. Yeah. So we're uh, going to spend significantly less time here than we thought, <laughs> but that's okay. We've had a big day. Yeah. today because you <laughs> we heard you were coming and we aren't making any of your vegan chow mein <laughs> I don't even think it said it was closed today because I looked I looked up the store name on Google and it didn't say closed it said it was open till 8 yeah it's supposed to be open so the only restaurant that's in this town that's on happy cow as having vegan food is the Golden Gate Chinese restaurant and it's closed today for whatever reason <laughs> so um, we're just gonna go to camp instead. <laughs> Alright, we are heading now to our campsite for the night, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, we got these coordinates from Molly and she said that the, this is her favorite campsite in the area. So we are really excited and we have high hopes that it's available. <laughs> 
Can we get up this hill? Oh, we got this. It's not as bad as that last one. The camera is not doing it justice right now. <laughs> This is nuts. This looks like the Would spot say, right oh, here. Yeah. Oh. I think this is it. Well, it is the next day, and it has been a pretty stressful, what, 16, almost 20 hours at this point um, since we left off yesterday. We were so excited to go to this campsite that um, my friend Molly had recommended us and we got there and then we were checking Ioverlander to make sure we were like in the right place because the coordinates in the like driving directions are kind of wacky out, out there and we read this crazy review on Ioverlander that was like do not stay here there are like local crime bands that like are going around and like targeting boondockers basically I don't know it was this whole thing and then I had seen another review on another Eye Overlander spot that was like I was warned by my friend who's local here like that whatever there's a lot of crime in the area and so we're like okay well there's a chance that this is fake and this is just like a local who doesn't want people coming in and like taking their favorite spots um but once I saw it and like once, once it entered my mind that it was a possibility, like, we weren't going to be comfortable staying there. So we just decided that we would try to find, like, a campsite to stay at for the night. Like a, like a paid campsite, basically. So we just kind of kept going down the highway. We were looking at all these different campsites. We were pulling off at, like, every national park campsite. Um, a lot of them take reservations, and they're all full. And then the ones that are first come, first serve were also full. Um, and we were just like really stressed cause we were like, where, where are we going to sleep for the night? <laughs> like, that's one of the things that everyone says about van life is like where you have to decide where you're going to sleep every night. Like there is no, you, you don't have like a, a home basically. So after three hours and like driving around to multiple campsites, we found a spot, um, at this, at the Shadow Mountain RV resort and it was only $20 and it had hookups. So we were like, cool, we'll charge up our batteries. And it was really cheap. I was like surprised how cheap it was. Cause at that point I was like, I just want to be done with this and have dinner and whatever. So yeah, that was the first stressful thing. <laughs> The next stressful thing is um, next week we are going to Mount Rainier. We're supposed to meet up with our friends Molly and Will and go um, check out Mount Rainier next weekend. We were looking, kind of planning ahead for that, where we're going to go next because we were basically planning on leaving tonight and there are no facilities in that area. There's like, there's nowhere to take a shower. There's nowhere to really buy groceries. There's a couple of like general stores, but um, being vegan, obviously we can't just like eat whatever's at the general store. It makes it a little bit harder. Um, and then there's nowhere to like fill up on water and that kind of stuff. And so we were just like, well, we have a shower in the van, but if we can't fill up water, we can't use the shower. Plus we need water for like drinking and washing our dishes and stuff like that. Um, so it's just been like, we didn't turn on the camera cause it's just been a crazy time of like, okay, what are we going to do tonight? And then like, what are we going to do for the next week? Basically. Um, and now we've got it all figured out. So we're actually going to stay at the, the campsite that we stayed at last night. We just decided to just put an end to the madness of stress of like what are we going to do next we're going to be staying there for the next three nights until wednesday so it'll give us some time to kind of sit, settle down in one place and think about where we're going to go next so <laughs> with that said we are going on a hike today um we're going to waterfall hike and then we're going to we'll probably have more time to explore more of the park because we don't have to leave and drive three and a half hours tonight so anything to add um, I think you pretty much covered it. I'm excited to do this hike. Anyway, that was a lot of talking, so we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go now. Alright, little update. We went on our hike up Mary Mere Falls. It was what a little over a mile and a half or two miles ish. It ended up being about two miles. It ended up being two miles from where we parked, which was at the boat launch from next to the trailhead. Um, it was about two miles uh, to the falls and back. So it was a quick but like strenuous, not strenuous, what's the word? 
It was a quick but like moderately challenging hike because we went uphill, um, up a lot of stairs and down a lot of stairs. So it was a nice hike. So after the hike, we drove to the main visitor center. We had went, we had been to the Ho Rainforest Visitor Center already, but we drove to the big main one and there was not much there <laughs> um, that we didn't already see at the Ho Visitor Center, but whatever. And now we are having lunch. We have a gourmet sandwich that Mike made and some berries. It's like my five-year-old lunch that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> and I think after this, we're just going to go back to camp Sunday afternoon. So it's almost Sunday scary time, if you know, you know. So we're just gonna go back and get ready for the week. We just checked into our campsite and we are pulling in now, backing in actually. What do you think? Um, it's alright. <laughs> the excitement just doesn't end, does it? <laughs> Never. So we just pulled into this spot and they have a, an extension cord. It said that the site comes with electricity, but what it said is 20 amp hookup, which is fine for us to plug in and like use our inverter and our Starlink and whatever if we're in the shade because the spot is like totally shaded. But we were like, well, we'll have a plug in, so that's fine because um, we won't be getting solar. But it has like one extension cord and that's the electricity. and. The, the guy came by and we were like, oh, what is, does this have like 20 amp hookups? And he was like, oh no. And we're like, oh, that's what it says on the website that we booked on. And he's like, oh, shouldn't say that. <laughs> like, uh, anyway, so we are getting moved to a, the site we stayed at probably yesterday around that area. Um, it's gonna be an RV site, so it's not gonna be as like nice and shaded and secluded, but it will have um, electric. So. Hi guys, this is an epilogue of sorts to the video that you just watched um, because it is currently like a few days until Christmas and we recorded this video in August. Um, so it's a little weird that we're posting it now, but honestly, I after we recorded it, I sat on the footage for a while and I kind of had decided like three separate times that I wasn't going to edit it or upload it. It's just a weird video because we were trying to make a vlog without filming in the national park and it just like everything we tried to do went wrong. The entire weekend was one like disappointment or stressful situation after the other and so it made like it just made a weird kind of video. Ultimately I decided to upload it because van life isn't always cool and fun and awesome and like great. Sometimes it's hard or stressful or really frustrating or annoying. Um, and this is one of those times where it's like your plans don't go to plan, the campsite that you wanted isn't available or there's something wrong with it, and then you spend like hours driving around looking for a campsite. That has happened to us multiple times throughout the summer where we've, we've spent at least an hour, sometimes two or three hours, um, just trying to find somewhere to park. and. That can be because the spots are taken or because there are no spots that meet our criteria. It actually happened to us the very next weekend when we were at Rainier with Will and Molly. We spent like two hours on Memorial Day weekend or Labor Day. I think it was Labor Day. We spent like two hours on Labor Day weekend um, driving around to find a campsite because we all have, had to work the next day. And so we needed cell service or Starlink. So um, that just happens. <laughs> so it's a bit of a weird video, but hopefully um, it was helpful or useful or somewhat entertaining to watch like the struggles that van life can be sometimes, I guess. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.